As you guys can see, I've made quite a mess in my garage since the last time uh, I did a tour of it. So there's some Windex. No. Oh, hold on, we're starting to catch some finished product here. So I have recoated this table to have kind of a textured finish on it. It used to look, so I'm just going to zoom out here, used to look like this one horrible and grungy and white and I'm hoping that this finish is durable enough to withstand the kind of abuse it's going to go through. If not, we'll just sand it down and we'll do something else. It's got kind of a shine to it. Uh, there's another one that's in progress right there, but I got to wait a week to recoat it because I ran out of spray bomb and uh, yeah, trouble. So that leads us to what have I been doing all this time? Well, for one thing, that wall in the corner it now has three coats on it, so two coats primer, one coat paint. So we're going to keep going at it until we manage to get it very, very uniform so that it, like, we can pretty much white out whatever's, uh, whatever's behind it. So you can hardly even see the corner there. There you go, you can see it a little bit, but we're going to try and hide that as best we can. The corner is probably also a touch wet, I just painted it, so you zoom right in there. Yeah, you can find the corner that way, but for the most part it's pretty even. We should be able to fix it up in post. Got some more painting supplies and whatnot, and the red and blue wall. So this is pretty much what this area is going to look like. Those blue panels are going to go up on the wall, and the red is going to be, well, very red, as you can plainly see. And I uh, just kind of wanted to see how these colors looked in the camera more than anything else right now. That's why I'm out here, but I figured I might as well record it. Uh, the vacuum cleaner will be covered up by a couple of bookcases which will be full of some cool knickknacks that I want to store on them. And uh, probably have to do something with that door frame. Just right now it's in pretty rough condition as you guys can see if I zoom in here. Yeah, that's pretty horrible. So uh, yeah, been hard at work. So my white box set will be done soon. A couple more, a couple more coats and then it'll be white enough and uniform enough that I'll be happy with it. And then my blue and red set just needs those tables so that one and then the one that's behind over there and then that one is pretty much ready to go as well i gotta figure out a way to anchor those bookshelves and maybe something to to prop them up on because i want them up a little bit higher but yeah it's starting to look good you, you'll see you can see here that the red looks very uneven here that's because i knew that was going to be covered by the blue panels so i didn't really keep coating it i didn't want to spend money on paint i'm not going to use so this is what the finished wall will actually look like. And you can see below that mark as well, it's very uniform again. See? Here. Looks fine. So thank you for checking out my little tour of what's been going on in my garage over the last little while. Don't forget to subscribe to Planet's Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Especially, hopefully, this video, which is coming up very soon. That is the new W1070, a 1080p 3D capable projector that's less than or around a thousand bucks from Ben Q. I also have some glasses to go with it. Very cool stuff. Don't forget to subscribe.